find the probability that a number from 1 to 300 is divisible by 3 or 7. Find the probability that a number from 1 to 300, right? From 1 to 300 is divisible by 3 or 7. 3 or 7. Now, one basic and fundamental rule that you need to understand is in probability as well as permutations and combinations, both permutations and combinations and uh, probability. In these two topics, when you are dealing with the operation plus, I mean, when you're dealing with or, let's say, it means plus. And when you are dealing with an operation and, it means these are like, uh, you know, rule of multiplication and rule of addition. If you understand that in detail through our videos, it will be great, right? But in both the topics, see, when you are dealing with an or type of operation, like in this case, 3 or 7, we have to use the plus operator. When you are dealing with and, you have to use the multiplication operator. Now, now the point that I am trying to make is, he says, find the probability that the number is divisible by 3 or it is divisible by 7. So, basically, I am going to look at the probability that the number is divisible by 3 plus or is simply replaced by plus the number uh, the probability that the number is divisible by 7 two different cases case 1 plus case 2 if he says find the probability that the number is divisible by 3 and 7 then you have to you know go for multiplication multiplication as in don't multiply the probabilities but you, you will understand this in detail if you go through the videos right so basically here we have to take up the probability separately right number should be divisible by 3 or the number should be divisible by 7 so add the probabilities uh, separately yeah now, what numbers are divisible by 3? 3, 6, 9, 12 and so on up to 300. What numbers are divisible by 7? 7, 14, 21, 28 and so on up to whatever possible value, right? I think the last value that you'll have is 280 plus 14, 294. Now, understand how many numbers will be there from 3, 1 to 300 which are multiples of 3. How are we going to deal with this? Simple. The probability that the number is divisible by 3 or 7, you can directly take it as follows. What is probability? Number of favorable cases divided by total number of cases. Right? I have to choose a number. I have to choose a number from 1 to 300. What is the probability that the number is either divisible by 3 or it is divisible by 7? Which means, what is the probability that the number is a multiple of 3 or a multiple of 7? So, what is probability? The basic definition of probability is number of favorable cases divided by total number of cases. Number of favorable cases divided by total number of cases. Now, in how many ways can you choose a number between 1 to 300? In 300 ways. I have to choose one number from 1 to 300. That can be done in 300 ways. Now, what is the probability that the number is a multiple of 3? There are 100 such multiples, right? 3, 6, 9, 12 and so on up to 300. Right? 100 multiples. You understand, 1 to 300, there are 100 multiples of 3. How many multiples of 7? 7, 14, 21, 28 and so on, 294. So, basically, try and divide 294 I mean you know basically divide 300 by 7 what will you get when you divide 300 by 7 you'll get uh, 40 to 42 point something so there are 42 complete multiples when I divide 300 by 3 I get exactly 100 which means there are 100 multiples of 3 when I divide 300 by 7 we'll get 42 point something right 42.85712 to be precise so there are 42 complete multiples of 7 so 100 plus 42 However, you should also realize that there could be common values between multiples of 3 and 7. Like if you go forward, you know that 21 is a multiple of 3. 21 is also a multiple of 7. Right? 42 will be a multiple of 3. 42 is also a multiple of 7. Right? So you have to subtract all these common multiples because these have been counted twice. 21 has been counted in 100. 21 has also been counted in these 42. Right? Similarly, the number, let's say 210. You know that 210 is a multiple of 3. 10 is also a multiple of 7. Now, 210 has been counted both the times in, in case of uh, 100 as well as in case, I mean, in, in 100 numbers and in 42 numbers. In both the numbers, 210 has also been counted. So, we have to subtract all such common values. We have to subtract all such common values. How do we get those common values? See, the least common multiple of 3 and 7 is 21. What is the LCM of 3 and 7? LCM of 3 and 7 is 21. 21 is the smallest common multiple, least common multiple of 3 and 7. So, which means 21 is one such number which has been taken twice here. It has been taken in 100, it has also been taken in 40. So, you have to subtract 21. And all the multiples of 21 between 1 to 300. So, 21, 42, 63, 84, 105 and so on. But you can't be doing this drama in the exam, right? You just can't do this in the exam. So, what do you do? Again, the same point. I am trying to find out how many such multiples of 21 will be there between 1 to 300. What did you do? Divide 300 by 3 to get the number of multiples. Divide 300 by 7 to get the number of multiples. Similarly, divide 300 by 21. How many multiples? 300 by 21. So, 210 plus 
90, right? 210 is 10 times 90 is 84 plus 6, 4 times plus something. So 14 point something you will get. You understand? So I can say the number of complete multiples of 21 are 14. Subtract that, subtract that 14 because 14 numbers have been counted twice. So I'm subtracting it once and that's the final answer. So these are the number of favorable cases, number of multiples of 3, number of multiples of 7 and number of common multiples of 3 and 7. You have to subtract those common multiples. Divide by the number of ways in which I can choose a number. So out of 300 numbers, we can choose numbers in 300 ways. So 100 plus 42, 142 minus 14 is 128. 128 by 300. So if you divide by 4, I think 4 is a common um, divisor, right? So divide by 4, you will get 32 by 75. 4 into 75, 4 into 32. So 32 by 75 is the final answer, option 2. All right, 32 by 75. It's not 36 by 75. It will be 32 by 75. 32 by 75.